Hello and welcome to another episode of the Siebel CRM update series. This video is brought to you by the Siebel Hub, the number one resource for always up-to-date Siebel CRM training. Oracle's continuous release model provides us with a fresh update for the world's largest CRM 12 times per year. Let's stop here for a minute and send a big thank you to the tireless Siebel team at Oracle who've never missed a beat since the continuous release model of Siebel CRM was introduced in 2018. It's sure an awesome achievement. The fourth update for Siebel 23, Siebel CRM 23.4, joins the ranks of bug fix only releases since it has no official new features according to the documentation provided by Oracle. While this might be underwhelming or even disappointing for some people, 23.4 is still a worthy candidate for considering your next update or even an upgrade to the newest Siebel CRM release. According to a recent, admittedly non-representative poll of the Siebel Hub YouTube channel, 69% of respondents reported their current Siebel CRM version is either 22 or 23. A total of 84% of respondents claim that they're on Innovation Pack 17 or higher, leaving 16% of Siebel CRM deployments on Innovation Pack 16 or earlier. If your Siebel CRM release is on IP 17 or higher, the process of updating to the latest release is significantly faster than an upgrade from IP 16 or earlier. In our monthly update summaries, including this one, you can find a description of the current update or upgrade paths at the end of the video. Let's discuss some points why you should consider even a featureless release, such as 23.4, for an update or upgrade. The latest available release of any software update naturally has more bug fixes than any other prior version. Oracle provides the list of eradicated bugs in the release notes document. The current Siebel CRM release very often includes a higher, more secure version of third-party software, such as Tomcat, Zookeeper, or jQuery. Let's not forget the fact that monthly Siebel CRM releases are cumulative. So depending on your current version, even a seemingly featureless release, such as 23.4, can still bring features that were included in earlier versions. And last but not least, Oracle recommends to update regularly. A smaller gap between versions means there's less friction with regards to potential conflicts or issues. If you don't have to straddle two versions that are years apart, there are fewer things that can get in your way or that you and your team need to learn about. Regular updates leave you with more time to rest, evaluate, and learn about the new release. And they allow your team to get into the groove by practice and become more efficient at keeping your Siebel CRM deployment in shipshape condition. What if the gap between your current Siebel CRM version and 23.4 is not a few months, but seven years or more? Yes, it's been seven years since Innovation Pack 2016, and that's a lot of time, not just in dog years. Siebel project teams who are still running on IP16 or an even older version of Siebel CRM might have found a lot of good reasons in the past not to upgrade to IP17 or higher. It's safe to say that the number of good reasons not to upgrade is decreasing every month. Let's consider some facts about a version of Siebel CRM that is seven years or older. There are no updates or patches from Oracle. Current versions of operating systems such as Windows 2022 are not supported. The same is true for other backbone infrastructure components such as the relational database management system. For instance, IP16 and earlier are not certified on modern versions of Oracle database. Browser support is another reason to keep Siebel CRM up to date. Let's just say it's time to let go of Internet Explorer. And most importantly, you're missing out on all the innovation and features that were shipped with IP17 or higher, such as workspaces, migration application, web tools, REST API, test automation, or the ability to run Siebel workloads in containers. There are more good arguments to support the case of Siebel CRM upgrade. If you're planning on using Siebel CRM for much longer, upgrade already. 
Coming back to Siebel CRM 23.4, it might not be the biggest of update packages, but still worthy of consideration as a candidate for updating or upgrading your Siebel CRM deployment to the latest release. Siebel 23 is even more fun if you know all about it. Siebel 23 is off to a great start, and so is the Siebel Hub learning experience. Check out the updated Siebel Hub curriculum, including the Siebel 23 Plus workshop, which provides Siebel practitioners with all the information they need to work with the latest Siebel CRM updates. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today. Hi, it's Alex from the Siebel Hub, and today we are going to answer the old question, is it an upgrade? or an update. So let's see. As of Siebel 23 and higher, you have upgrade or update pass, depending on the version you're currently on. So if you have 7.5, 7.7, that's really old. That's 20 years and older. So you're in for a two-step upgrade according to the upgrade guide in Bookshelf. If you are slightly higher, 7.8 to 8.2, you still have to do a one-step full upgrade. And for both, you're still on high interactivity, on Internet Explorer, unbelievable. Yes, you have to go to OpenUI as well. The two-step upgrade takes you to 8.1.1, and if you have that, or any other version up to IP16, you're in for what's known as an incremental repository merge, or IRM. So all of these are upgrades. And that means to go from these versions to the latest 20.3, this is a month long project measured in person months or person years. And we're not here to cover all of it. You need to get professional help from consulting and Oracle to get your upgrade project on the way and get to the latest Siebel CRM. So if you already are on IP17 or anything higher than that, including 18, 19, 20, you name it, then we talk about updates. And an update is measured in person days. So it's just a matter of a few days to get your environment from that older version to the latest 23.x or higher. So let's dive a little bit into the update paths that we have. So there are a few mandatory steps you have to take. You have to make sure you back up your environment database, then you run what's known as the modular deployment engine or MDE, which does all the binary stuff really. And then you run the post install database update. This is mandatory and it updates your database. That's why I take a backup with schema C data and manifest data that brings in, well, the mandatory stuff that Oracle has developed since your last version. Now, there are a few optional steps as well, depending on your implementation, such as running the repository upgrade that you decide upon information from Oracle in the release notes or bookshelf. And it runs only on the development environment and brings new, well, repository stuff into your repository, along with schema, C data and manifest. If you have to follow some configuration instructions from Oracle, you also do that in the DR environment. In any environment, there could be any known issues that you need to fix. And administrative changes might also be on your menu. So let's look at the development update in greater detail. You start with backing up your environment and database. Make sure you have a safe point to go back to. You shut down the software on that machine, Siebel Server, Gateway, or AI. And then you run the MDE, typically on the first Siebel server, because that's where the post-install database update runs as well. It has to be run once per database. And if that doesn't complete successfully, you have to rinse and repeat until that's successful. Then you run the MDE to update any other Siebel software, any other Siebel servers, gateways, AIs, 
And don't forget Siebel Tools or Developer Web Client or Mobile Web Client. Then it's time to start up that development enterprise so you can decide if you have a repository upgrade. Now let's do the fast track. Let's say, no, we don't need a repository upgrade. We have no configuration instructions, no administrative changes. That will mean we're done with the development update. But there might be just a longer path. So when you have decided to run the repository upgrade, you of course have to run it and successfully so. If there are any config instructions, that's developer work in Web Tools 2, and that has to be tested and delivered. Now, administrative changes depend on what version you are, what features you're using. So let's say you have some, and then you of course have to implement them, and now we're done. Well, let's take a look at test or production or RR environments. We start with a backup shut down the software, run the modular deployment engine in update mode on the first Siebel server to get that post-install database update out of the way. And then we update any other instances of Siebel CRM that you have in that environment. Start up the environment. If there have been no repo repository changes and no administrative changes to do, we are done. Now, the longer path is, of course, if you had repository changes, you need to go and fire up that migration application to migrate the repository. And don't forget the C data changes from the development to the RR environment. Make sure you test that thoroughly. And if you have any administrative changes, depending on your implementation, you have to implement those. And then we're done with the update of a test or production environment.